if I saw Peter Fonda, and I'm not just saying this to virtue signal, I'd have trouble not not knocking his teeth out. I mean, I'm serious. He wants to kidnap people. He wants to harass ICE agents' kids. And it's the fact that they just get away with it. And I hate Hollywood, and I hate their tuxedos, and I, I hate everything they are. And I don't want to say I want to see him in a cage with pedophiles getting raped like he wants for Baron. But, <laughs> man, I, I, you know what? I, 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 I want to offer him a million dollars to get in a cage fight with me because we'll do it in Indonesia where, I, where you're allowed to, you know, really. Because I'm serious. I know he can have he, him and one of his buddies because he's an old guy. <laughs> Sanitarium. That's where the Democrats are. Um, but I don't want to be like the wolf says in Pulp Fiction. I don't want to start celebrating here a little too early. We don't want to start, you know, what each other's yet because because. They're going to strike back. So, so Anthony, we're winning. Americana's coming back. My God, against Venezuela and North Korea and communism. Why shouldn't she? God almighty, Marilyn Monroe and 57 Chevys and, you know, Bernie Sanders bitching about 30 different types of deodorant. Just shut up, you idiot, <laughs> while you swindle colleges and drive, live in $3 million. He has $3 million houses. Fine. And people, <laughs> and like, my ex-wife was in Twitter. And she goes, how dare you, you hypocrite. You fly first class. He says he doesn't fly first class, but has been caught doing it. It's not bad to fly first class. It's bad to be, say you're a commie and live in million-dollar houses and drive $100,000 Audis. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Does that make sense? Absolutely. Oh, my God. The hypocrisy is really what gets me. I mean, I, I am amazed at how people on the left, and especially someone like Bernie Sanders, whenever I see them pop up on Twitter, I go like the the gall, the set that this guy has to even show his face after Hillary and the DNC bent him over. He's actually trying to tell us how we should lead our lives. It, he's a pathetic old guy. And he's driving a red sports car. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That ain't cool I when was... you're 16, man. <laughs> It's it's just a, a, a disaster. But I, I was just saying before during the break, thank God that that woman didn't win. Thank God Hillary Clinton. We wouldn't know any of this that's going on. That that uh, cover would still be on everything. We'd have to listen to her uh, uh, destroy uh, this country of ours and lecture and, us. Uh, it would have been a disaster. And not only was it great that Trump won because he's showing us what we have had to deal oh, with. Oh, my God. I hate to be like a, a, a groveler, but, I mean, instant gratification. We're basically getting instant gratification. He's, like, got a 95, and I know how politics works. The fact that he got tax cuts done and all this and, and, and the North Korea, and just it's insane. Alex, what the hell was every other president doing? For years, they would sit there, maybe have one uh, benchmark or, or, or one... One, uh, one benchmark they... in four years or eight years. He has them every day where we every almost day. don't even appreciate it. Every day. And he's on the news every day talking about something that he's trying to get he's through. He's selling and freedom. He's selling success. I, it's, it's messianic, quite frankly. It really is. It's an amazing thing that we've never seen before because they have they've all been uh BSing us all of these years, making it look like this is the most. So I agree. Thing. I agree, Anthony Cumi of compoundmedia.com. Let me ask you this then. Let's get to the negative point. You didn't cover it earlier in your die because we want to glaze over this. And I do too. But what if they kill him? They're really trying. What if they what if they what happens if they're what happens then? I'm really afraid for my family. Oh, at at that point, if they if they get desperate, if they get back in power, they are going to undo all of this good that we're seeing. All of this. Uh, remember, remember when we we had pride in a nation? Like that's coming back. We're actually proud to be Americans. We don't have a president that's bowing in front of uh, uh, world leaders. He's he's for strength in our economy, at our borders, with our military, and somehow. They're twisting this to be a bad thing. I just don't understand how they're going to run on a position of anti-America. Uh, good luck with that, because I, the people I talk to and the people I see on a daily basis love what's going on right now. And there's that small bubble of people that think 
They're a majority from Hollywood. Well, Washington, exactly. Even Soros said a few weeks ago, he says, I'm in my own bubble. I can't believe this is happening. He doesn't right. get history. He doesn't get the lust and, and the desire for freedom. What do you make of that weirdo, uh, uh, Petey, Pedo, what, what's his name? Peter Fonda, Peter Fondler. Uh -huh saying that he wants to kidnap Barron, have him raped by pedophiles. He wants the names of the ICE agents hacked and given out. Then you watch the real ICE agents who are like 83% of the kids are homeless. Their parents have been murdered. And we appreciate Trump. We've got more funding for the kids since this happened. And they're all Hispanic, by the way, people managing it down yeah. the border. And it's like it's not even reality what we were hearing. No, no. It was all lies and uh, propaganda. That's what it is. It's propaganda. That isn't just a word that uh, was was around in the in the 30s and 40s. They, this is liberal propaganda. They lie. Children in cages, torn from their parents' arms. Like they use these little catch words, and and you see it on all the news. What what you think it's a coincidence? They all say ripped from their parents' arms. It sounds terrible. Children. It, in it, it's like a talking point. George Soros killed right. Hitler. George Soros that's is a hero. It, it, yeah. And you finally hear from Joe Rogan's mouth, you're like, whoa, that, that's why I got pissed. It's a talking point. So, so, so what happens here then? Because clearly they're losing now. They know they're losing. They're getting desperate. Uh, what Again, I keep getting back to what do they do next? What do we do next? What should, what should we be? Well, let me put this to you this way. I'm not, not a guy that shoots my mouth off, but I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a little wet lily, let's say. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, going to just... I'm, I'm, let's just say I'm not a cream puff. If I saw, because I have children, and I also love Trump and what he's gone through, and I, I experience his attacks like my attacks I've gone through, if I saw Peter Fonda, and I'm not just saying this to virtue signal, I, I'd have trouble not, not knocking his teeth out. I mean, I'm serious. He wants to kidnap people. He wants to harass ICE agents' kids. And it's the fact that they just get away with it, and I hate Hollywood, and I hate their tuxedos, and I, I hate everything they are. And I don't want to say I want to see him in a cage with pedophiles getting raped like he wants for Baron, but man, I, I, you know what? I, 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 I want to offer him a million dollars to get in a cage fight with me because we'll do it in Indonesia where, I, where you're allowed to, you know, really, because I'm serious. I know he can have he, him and one of his buddies because he's an old guy. I mean, I, I, I'm not a murderous person, but I'll be honest. I have serious, violent feelings towards him and other people like him. I mean, how do you deal with that? How could you not be? I, 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 when I first read what he, what he wrote, I was like, but the, I get angry also at the hypocrisy that he's got a film coming out uh, through Sony Pictures in a day or two, and it's coming out. It's fine. No one cares. He apologized. Sony bashed him as much as they possibly could, but he still has a job. And look, I don't advocate for anyone to be fired. Exactly, but conservatives said. and Roseanne Barr, anybody, we all get banned. They all get gone. to do it. You'd be gone in a second if you said anything close to what he said. It was vile. And it was about Barron, and it was about the First Lady, and it was about ICE agents and their children making direct threats to these people, which is. And by the way, if you're not a public figure, I don't want to get into the security issues with us and my family, but we deal with stuff on a lower level than Trump does. So that's why it's personal for me. Oh, you want to come kidnap my kids? You, you know, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, some point, yeah. when does the left push too far with the civil? war they want because they get that civil war they're gonna lose absolutely it's happening though alex we see it like hollywood which used to be you know tinseltown and all the glitter and we were fascinated by it most americans are disgusted by hollywood these days the the shine is off of it it's not this magical place anymore. We get the second these idiots, these empty vessels open their mouths, just No, no, I agree. And, 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 and they think it's like 20 years ago when most people hated them. Now people become, I mean, well, used to, I want to go see a movie. I want to, but I, I'm like afraid of how I'm going to be bombarded with propaganda. And then I get them, they start punching me in the stomach. And I'm like, why am I here? So they wonder why their profits are down 40%. Because we can't take much more of their crap, man. Why does Hollywood hate America that gave them all the power for? What's their damn problem? At least they give us a reach around here, you know? It just seems like a bigger issue with uh, a power base that goes a lot higher than what we're seeing. And without sounding conspiratorial. No, it's true. Well, I you know China has that. a controlling interest in Hollywood now. Yeah, and why wouldn't they want to pump out propaganda that 
breaks down and destroys American values. The only thing that holds us together as Americans, uh, they want that gone so that the country uh, gets divided like it is. And, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. Hopefully uh, this stops. But right now it's scary. And that's really it. It's not like we're perfect on some high horse, but we're America. And we're not going to yeah. let a bunch of co cold-blooded corporations come in here and play us off against each other. And all you idiots that don't know we've been compromised by China that are against Trump, he's a real American. He really cares about the country, and that's why they hate him. And I feel so sorry for people that aren't fully on board. My God. Open Final segment with Anthony Cumia, CompoundMedia.com. Straight ahead, be sure to subscribe, CompoundMedia.com. If you don't, you're helping Soros. You know, someone very profoundly once said, many years ago that if fascism ever comes to america it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead if you are receiving this transmission you are the resistance Extendowise, the latest product from InfoWarsLife.com, fuses all the known compounds that have been proven to be good for our hearts and cardiovascular system and listen everybody's got a heart well, actually, maybe Hillary and George Soros don't, but everybody else has a heart, and this product is amazing. So, if you have a heart, and you want the very best product out there that's designed to aid a healthy heart, cardiovascular system, it's ExtendoWise, available at InfoWarsLife.com. And like all of our products are game changers, this baby is the most souped-up, awesome version the top formulators could come up with and still be affordable. It's one of the very best heart pills out there. It's ExtendoWise. So... Get some for yourself and family and friends. It's got the very best fish oil from the fjords. It's very, very pure, very, very clean, and has the EPA type that is specifically good for the heart, cardiovascular system. Uh, it's got the properly formulated type of CoQ10 and more. It is Extendowise, now available at InfoWarsLife.com. <laughs>